What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to Blair Wiggins Outdoors today. We are down in one of my favorite places to fish in Florida, right outside of Marco Island in the back country. Fishing with Captain Chris Broom. We did a show with him a couple years ago, fishing back in here and did a really good job. So we're gonna see what we can do now, two years later. A year and a half, yep. What, uh, what's our situation? We got, I got a fish. Tell everybody while I'm fighting this fish what we're doing. So our situation <laughs> is here with him, uh, late April here and um, these fish are starting to come in, get ready to spawn here. And um, so our snook are sitting in these deeper waters, you know, pretty schooled up right now. So it looks like Blair might have something here. I think this is something other than a... Jack Crevel. Little Jack Crevelli. But a uh, good way to get interrupted. <laughs> I'm gonna re rip Oh, don't yell at me. I'll let you go. <laughs> That's so bad when they do that. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. I'm gonna get rigged up and... Uh, See if we can show you a snook today. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by Starbright, blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar, always the best. Lose, feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anywhere. And buy Costa sunglasses, see what's out there. Welcome back, folks. As you can see, it's a nice bright blue sky now, which means high pressure. The bite's getting a little bit tougher. It's the middle of the day, and uh, kind of got the same scenario here, don't we? Absolutely. So we got an incoming tide as well. So, you know, still just hitting all this dead wood. You know, a little ledge on this dead wood, a little bit of cap rock on it, and you know, these snook and snook and jacks like to hang out on them. We got a buddy of mine from Mobile, Alabama. He says uh, wood is good. That's it. DW, we're gonna try it. See if wood is good today. Valley. Nice fight, Mike. Smelling like a jack. Oh, yeah. It is Chuckalusky tuna. Jack. They by far pull the hardest out of any other fish out here, that's for sure. That is I did a show here. off the East Coast one time with Bill Dance, and that's all we targeted with jacks. Uh -huh. He called them our jacks. <laughs> O-U-R jacks. Or H-O-U-R jacks. Because they took you an hour to reel them in? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Too many people up here. We're gonna run down south. We'll duck in the back way at Coon Key and run the back way. We got us a cavalli. I think you got a big old trout. Oh, another mangrove. How about another mangrove? <laughs> <laughs> if you need to go offshore for mangroves, we can catch them back here, right, Blair? Yeah, man. Hey, that'll be another one home. 
for the fish fry. For Brian Thompson, that one's yours, brother. Mangrove snapper are kind of like Kobe. When you catch one that's a keeper, they don't go back. <laughs> That fish just ate on that sardine, so you know what I'm gonna try? Another one. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many of those we got left, but here's what we're calling the Spanish sardines. That little dude right there. Great little, oh, almost lost him. Great little bait. We're taking them, hooking them right in the nose right there. And these baits have a really thick cartilage right in the front of the nose, so you can put a good pressure on them when you cast them and uh, you can get them where you need to be. Fish. Fish? That's a pretty good one. You know what it is? Feels like a mango snapper. Yeah, sure is, isn't it? <laughs> Might as well just throw the mango snapper still. Oh, not that one. Wow, he was just holding on to that bait. He did not want to let go of that. Look at that. No hook in him at all. Pretty good. That's why they call him a snapper. Just make a move. Yeah, it's a fish. That's a good fish. Nice one, Blair. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't feel like a snook, though. Might be a Goliath grouper. We got a lot of Goliath groupers back in here right now. Oh, yeah. Little guys? Um, You know, it, they range. Some, some of them are real small, and we've had some 20 to 30 pounders back in here as well lately. He's coming out now. It feels like a Goliath. Oh, no, it's a snook. Is it a nice one? It's a nice snook. Is it? <laughs> if it feels like a Goliath and all of a sudden it turns into a snook, what do you think? It's a real nice one. <laughs> real nice one. i take that one, Blair. Hold on, let's get on this side. I'll take him the other side. Not one jump, not one run. He was just trying to get back in the hole there. There you go, right to you. He's digging. Oh, gotta love that sound. <laughs> nice. Well, that's a good way to do it, huh, brother? Not a bad one at all there. Got him. Yeah, got him. Try to grab that hook out. Perfect. Marco Island snook. And they're real light colored here too, aren't they? Very much. We got that good clean water right now. And they're lighting it up, coming in from offshore to come back here and breed a little bit. Getting a little bit of that Labrador retriever look back at us there. We'll, we'll get one here in a few minutes. <laughs> It'll have that real look to them. Hey, that's a real one in any book. That's they're, all, it. they're all good. Some are just better than the others. That's there he it. goes. This lot size fish. Carry on. Absolutely. All right, Blair. Cool beans. We all stay tuned. We're going to be right back here from Marco Island, Captain Chris Broom on a beautiful day right here about starting the summer. It's gonna feel like summer today, isn't it? By the end of the day, it will for sure. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, time to show you what we were using out there today. We started off and we spent a lot of time trying to find tarpon today. And we spent a lot of time looking and looking and looking and they just didn't show up. And so we decided uh, since the tarpon weren't there, hey, let's go inshore and see what we can do, see if we can make a good day of fishing. So that's exactly what we did. It was live bait all day today. We were using a four aught, and this is a circle hook from Laser Sharp. And I had it on 40 pound test cigar fluorocarbon leader, using the Premier this time too, uh, just because of the abrasion resistance and how limber this uh, fluorocarbon is because it lets your bait move around really, really natural. Seven foot, three inch inshore speed stick with a CI 300 reel and had it rigged with 15 pound test. And this is the new tactics braid from Seaguar. I love this stuff. It helps with wind knots, especially how windy it got out there that day. 
uh, the high pressure moved in, the bike kind of shut off, and then the low pressure kind of came up from the south. Mother Nature took over, and uh, well, you saw what happened. But we did end the day with a nice, good fish. Y'all stay tuned to the end of that. We had a really good day out there. The shirt I'm wearing out there today, it's Sea Safe, and the Sea Safe is Sea Safe products from Starbright and they're safe to use in the marina, they're environmentally safe, they can go in the water and you think, well, hey, I'm not gonna pour this stuff right in the water, but if you happen to have it sitting up on the gunnel of your boat while you're sitting there cleaning in the marina, boop, you hit it in the water, it's gonna be environmentally safe. It's gonna break down and not hurt the environment. So, Sea Safe products from Starbright, highly recommend them. They're safe for the environment and they work really, really well. So there's your bait check for today. So now you can get down to Marco Island with Captain Chris Broom and get out there and catch you some good fish and just have a great day fishing. So Chris, what has killed all these mangroves? Is that still from the storm years ago? That's from Hurricane Irma coming up on five years, the anniversary of that storm. And you know, our afternoon storms kill them too, but majority of it's from hurricane damage from Irma five years ago. And that no-name storm, that thing did a big... Yeah, that was a few years before that, but yeah, it's you know coming up on five years since that happened to us, but a lot of the dead dead mangroves out here from you know from Hurricane Irma, but you know, some of them we still get from our, our random afternoon storms and things like that when they kick up here. It sure put a hurting on them. First guy. Is going? Yep. Good one. Good job, brother. Fighting like a snook? Fighting like a big redfish or something along those lines. Yeah, or Maybe going. a Goliath snook again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, buddy. I'm not sure what it's fighting like, man. Not my Goliath, like you said. Uh, somewhere out here. Yeah, it might be. Oh, it's a big old red fish, player. It? It's a big red. Cool beans. Big old red, player. Good red fish from down here, ain't it? You ain't kidding there, buddy. It looks like he came from the Indian River. Indian River Reds and Chokolusky. Yeah. That'd be a good tournament red from down here. You ain't kidding. That's a nice one. There you go, Blair. There we go. Ooh. He's choked it down. Yeah. I guess I got little clippers here for you. He's going to get that one. Nice redfish. Good genetics. You can always tell when I got good genetics because they usually have just the one spot. Did you know that? Yeah, I did not know that. It's the genetics that give them the multiple spots and stuff when they start crossbreeding. But that is a pretty one. Pretty yeah. one. Yeah. You can do a good tournament with that one. Yeah, you ain't kidding. <laughs> That's. That's the right size right there, Blair. Jolting oh, back right. in. Yeah. Time for another. Get back in there. See you, dude. Somewhere nice and healthy. Good job, brother. All right, Blair. That's a good one. That's the way to do it. That's it. That's it. We all stay tuned. We're going to be right back right here in Chuckalusky. Captain Chris Broom in a beautiful day. No pressure. That's it. <laughs> Been tough. Well, welcome back, folks. Still changing positions here and there today. We got the high pressure, like I said earlier, and we are trying our best to show you a good sized snook. And we're fishing basically the same scenario, just a different spot. And it's a, just a cutout? Yeah, it's just a deep undercut here underneath the trees from all this tide that hits it on ebb daily. And a lot of fish like to hang out on it. Over thousands and thousands of years, it just creates a nice deep hole under all these mangroves. Hopefully by the time it creates a hole, the hurricane doesn't come and fill it in. Yeah. <laughs> we get our plenty share of those. We don't need any of those this year, that's for sure. No, I'd be happy without one this year. Probably just swiped at my bait, guys. 
Yep, saw that. He you got see it. that? You see that guy? Yep. Either that was a tarpon or a huge snook. It, it looked a like tarpon. a tarpon. Yeah. yeah it was Snapper biting now. Oh, there's a bite, Blair. There's a bite. Oh, yeah. Good job, dude. Good job. Oh. Put that rod tip in the water upside down. There you go. Way down there. Tug. What tug? Blair, you got me in the trees. All these boat wakes. Oh, those were jet ski wakes. About yeah. 15 of them went by. Yeah, I what has it. this place become? <laughs> I don't know, but our fish is back there somewhere, Blair. I see him shaking the trees. He was running away from all the jet skis. He was trying to get away. Get out of there. Quit going back in there. Walking back, keep walking in front of the boat. Walking. Oh, I got you. It's just right there, man. I got him out, Blair. <laughs> cool, I got man. him out, Blair. Now that might be one of your glass. I don't know. I think this might be one of them big old snooks. That's a snook. He's got a line an inch thick. I hope so. <laughs> That's the way I like them. Come on, be a snook. Be a snook. A big snook. That or another big redfish would be nice. He's a little bigger than that last redfish if it's a red. Put the heat to that one. We we'll called that one, oh, didn't we? Oh, it is, Mr. Goliath. Look at that. We we'll called that God, one. God, look at that cigar leader, man. That thing looks like a knot full of hair. Look at that. It's all frayed up from that. From being in the trees. From being in them trees. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that dude. Circle hook right where it's supposed to be. I can't believe I got him out of those trees, Blair. That <laughs> your inshore grouper of the biggest species, also known as a goliath. Pretty fish. The one that we don't think is a goliath, a goliath, and the other two we thought were goliaths <laughs> were the right species. You know, and if everybody, everybody says they would love to keep one of these, you can actually keep them now. They sell a tag, what is it, a $500 tag? $500 now. If you want to kill one that bad, you can spend $500. And I say, everybody that can spend $500 and can afford to kill one of those, do it, especially out on the wrecks because they eat everything. Absolutely. And it's a lottery drawing, too, so. Well, what do you think with Mother Nature coming up on us behind us? Uh, we should probably get out of here. Yeah, I haven't heard Zeus yet. <laughs> Might be a wise choice. I don't think we can do any better what we already did. No, for sure. Hey, if y'all ever get the chance to come down here to Marco Island, make sure you look up Captain Chris Broom. You can go to our website and find him, or how can they get in touch with you? Your website? Uh, I do have a website, MarcoIslandCharterFishing.com. That's an easy one. MarcoIslandCharterFishing.com. Make sure you look him up on the internet. We have done everything we could do. We tried for tarpon, and we tried and tried and tried, and they just would not show for us, and uh, that's tarpon fishing, basically. So, One thing good about Marco Island, you can always come back in the back country and make a good day catch a lot of fish. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Don't forget about the website, BlairWigginsOutdoors.com. You can keep up with all of our social media sites out there and everything we're doing and keep up to date on us. We'll see you all in the water. See ya. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by Starbright, blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar, always the best. Lose, feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association, Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Miralure. 
turn on the bike anywhere. And buy Costa sunglasses. See what's out there. That's a nice trout. Yeah, why not? You allowed to keep trying here now? Yep. 